We've all of us got problems. We've all of us got strains. And little things that niggle at our backs and fronts and brains. We've all got little worries and dreams that doom has kissed. But why tell me? And could it be because I'm a psychologist? And when I'm at a party or chatting on the phone, people ask me what I do and inwardly I groan. For I know that if I tell them, my future will look dour. Knowing my luck, you'll find me stuck still with them in an hour. At dinner parties, people tend to ask you what you do. I turn and wave and show I'm brave by hiding in the loo. My temples start to pound. We sit for dinner, which looks great. But they don't stop. I watch my chop grow cold upon my plate. I get two main reactions. A look, the frozen kind. Then leaning in, they fearfully grin. Are you reading my mind? <laughs> the second is more tiring. My growing fear, I smell. The slow lean in, I fearfully grin. And then they start with, well... Auntie Muriel's been bugging me since 1982. My knees they crack, my husband's slack, my daughter's got the flu. My job is bad, my friend is sad, my budgie's flown away. My ulcer keeps me up at nights, my cat I think is gay. My sister told my mother that my menopause is rife. My mother told my sister that I'll have hot flush for life. And do you think that people spy? And on this, I sure would bet you, just because you're paranoid don't mean that they're not out to get you. I'm sure if I could learn to love myself and write my will, I'd feel a sense of power. I saw that on Dr Phil. Do you like him? He is lovely, just like Oprah, only male. And tall and bald and fat and wise and rich and strong and pale. Now, if my husband was like that, then my life would be flowing. But I think my husband's nervous about his sex. Oh, where are you going? I flee across the lounge room. I sidestep bowls of nuts, jump over trays of canapes and push the door which shuts. I grab my coat and, coat and hat. I stutter my goodbye. My tie is loose as I vamoose into the evening sky. I jump over the hedge as a tempest fills my brain. I run for freedom to the station where I catch the train. A youth sits right across from me, his iPod and his sand shoe. He looks me up and down and says laconically, what you do? I wrestle with my conscience. I'm poised upon the brink. He looked, but I can't lie. And so I sigh and tell him, I'm a shrink. Whoa! Do you give people drugs and meds and pills and stuff and like? And what's the weirdest thing that someone's told you? My mate Mike can do this trick with half a stick, an apple and a flanny. And one night he was caught halfway and nearly killed his granny. <laughs> can you fix parents, by the way? Because mine are so like Nana. They nag and search and hope that they will find my marijuana. And I know my hair is emo, but I'm not. I just like the style. My jeans are tight, my eyes are bright, but eckies last a while. <laughs> How old are you? I bet you're old, like 23 or 4. Do you people tell you everything? Oh, no, you can't. They lock the door. And is it true that ice will fry your brain and make it burn off? That's dumb to take, so I just make cocktails with Jif and Smirnoff. Mum and Dad are stuffed, and when I'm famous and a star, I'll sue my parents for their money and the house and car. Hey, do you know about depression? Because that's so like in, you see. It's up to date, not like the late lamented ADD. And my friend Carla says that tats are really cool. They rock. So I'm getting come and get it tattooed right across my... What? <laughs> Again I flee into the night, my tolerance in tatters, but listening still won't make me ill, being interested, that matters. But if we meet each other, and you ask me what I do, I'll run and flee, don't stress, you see, I've got my shrink at two. <laughs> <laughs>